so now we are going to draw human female reproductive system in sectional view and how does it look let's see now human female system has the primary sex organ ovary and a uterus a muscular bag uterus the uterus is like an inverted pear like structure so we are going to show the outline of the uterus which is like a inverted pear so this is what i mean by inverted pear okay so make the outline of the uterus which has actually very muscular kind of wall okay once you have made the outline now try to continue on the two sides to show the fallopian tubes the fallopian tubes are actually long muscular but narrow so these two tubes the initial part which is continuing with the uterus is called isthmus and then it suddenly widens up as ampulla that is a area that's a region where the fertilization will take place then it continues as a funnel like structure this funnel is called the infundibulum which ends into fimbriae the finger like structures this fimbriae keep floating in the peritoneal fluid and then comes the primary sex organ ovaries which will release the ova now similarly on this side also we have to make it symmetrically same draw another long muscular tube isthmus part ampulla which continues as broad funnel like in fundibulum and then once again show the attachment of ovary with some ligament here and the ovary is present here too so two ovaries now we fill up the internal part of the uterus now uterus is a muscular bag like structure the outer part the covering part is perimetrium it is basically mesothelium covering it then the middle portion is very very muscular that is called myometrium myometrium which participates during the labor process it helps in contraction and expansion of the uterus wall so it's really very very muscular that's myometrium but the inner portion is highly glandular so make the glands with this wavy kind of lines it can become thick or thin lot of changes take place in this layer it's called endometrium endometrium which is composed of columnar glandular epithelium it undergoes many many changes during the menstrual cycle of the female even during pregnancy it supports the placenta and the fetus implantation takes place in the endometrium so endometrium is a very very dynamic layer made up of columnar epithelium so now continue the musculature as a thinner musculature but yes musculature has to be present in the fallopian tube also because fallopian tube will undergo peristalsis to propel the ovum which will be received by the infundibulum through the fimbriae and in case fertilization occurs in the ampulla region this ampulla region then the embryo which starts forming due to division continuous division of the zygote will also be propelled forward therefore the inner lining of the uh, the fallopian tube has ciliated cuboidal epithelium so that epithelium is also present so just line up the wall of the fallopian tube and then we are ready to 
label it also but before that we have to show you another important part of the uterus now uterus on the lower side will show a very very thin neck this neck is called the cervical canal and this neck from total part of the neck is called the cervix so this is the cervix in which the canal is also very thin this is called cervical canal so continue with the endometrium here also even here you can continue to some extent trying to show the uniformity of the structure okay so this is the cervix i have sh shown you now where this cervix end this area this is the end of cervix now here uh, it's a two dimension otherwise just imagine this in three dimension side where the uterus has ended this area this canal which you can see is little wider and of course very long canal i'm not showing the end this is called the vagina vagina has exact end okay this is vagina so this is how the diagram of the female reproductive system is complete now we are going to label it so now labeling is complete and as you can see uh, the primary sex organ ovary is here which is partially covered by the mouth of the fallopian tube the finger like fimbriae and rest of the fallopian tube the narrow isthmus wider ampulla and then the infundibulum and of course the fimbriae on the other hand the uterus has three layers in its wall the outermost mesothelial perimetrium its protective layer then myometrium the thick very thick smooth muscle layer and of course the endometrium which is glandular layer which uh, undergoes many changes then the uterine cavity the neck of the uterus cervix and the canal which along with the vagina will serve as birth canal uh, is a cervical canal and then of course vagina which is wider and longer